But uh, yeah, let's go over this report here when it comes to what might be shadow dropping at the upcoming PlayStation Showcase. This is being reported by PlayStation Lifestyle, an insider who previously leaked the existence of Gravity Rush 2, the Gravity Rush 2 PS5 remaster, now claims that Medieval 2 Remake is in the works and its release date is sooner than we think. Despite its previous denials, Other Ocean Interactive has reportedly been working on this project since 2021. The leaker happens to be a semi-popular Discord member, Orange, who I think actually shows up here on the channel sometimes, uh, thanks to Twisted Voxel, who uh, reported it originally. Uh, he's allegedly a playtester. Either he is a playtester or he knows a playtester who, I guess, is feeding him certain information. We can't comment on the authenticity of their claims or their reputation, but they did accurately leak information pertaining to the Gravity Rush movie in the past. Nevertheless, take it with a grain of salt. According to Orange, we will see the Medieval 2 remake in May 2024, which has led to speculation that it will be shadow dropped during the rumored PlayStation showcase. It's entirely possible that the game will simply make an appearance, but will actually release sometime later, so don't get your hopes up just yet. Orange did not say what platforms the remake is targeting, but it's safe to say it'll be on PS5. And so, um, Medieval 2 Remake was first rumored in February of 2020 following cryptic tweets by the series composer. The following month, Other Ocean denied working on the project. Now, Other Ocean is the development team that worked on the Medieval Remake that, if I'm not mistaken, launched on PS4 in 2019. And a lot of people since have been saying like, look, you guys really need to remake or remaster. I guess a remake would be more appropriate, but you need to remake um, the sequel because I think to a lot of people, the sequel is actually better than the original, like quite substantially. So, you know, the idea of this game getting shadow dropped, this is, in my opinion, what you really want to take with a big pinch of salt because it seems that the shadow drop idea is just something that pe that fans are hoping for. But people seem to be very confident that there is truth to this. It is worth noting that if we go back to Jeff Grubb, Jeff Grubb, he did say that he has been hearing for a little while now that Sony does have other smaller first-party titles set to release this year. One of those titles is a new Astrobot game. He never revealed what the other titles were or what they could be. He didn't name drop them. The only game he name dropped was Astrobot. And so the idea of Medieval 2 Remake being another one of these smaller first-party games that is ready to release this year, it's easy for me to believe this because it makes a lot of sense. It It's one of these things where you know, Other Ocean, from what I can tell, did a very good job with the way they handled the remake of Medieval. Uh, so I don't know if it was a huge sales success. I'm going to assume it probably wasn't. It probably just did modest, modestly well, you know, um, good enough. So the idea of Sony, re, you know, greenlighting a uh, remake to the, to the sequel, I don't, you know, I don't think that there's anything unreasonable about that. I don't think there's anything that's like, oh, yeah, I don't know about this one. Now, the question is, how excited would you guys be? For a medieval two remake, I know automatically there are going to be some people that are like, "Really, another remake?" And I get that, I get that. But I mean, to me, this is one of those inconsequential remakes where, again, other ocean, separate development team, smaller development team being tasked with remaking a classic PlayStation IP. I don't think this is a remake that people would be upset with. However, I don't think a medieval two remake launching this year. Even if it is shadow dropped, I don't think that's going to be enough alone to really move the needle, so to speak. However, speaking of the PlayStation Showcase, if this is where we see this game and Sony announces it is coming this year, let's think about it. Let's think about it for a moment. What could we see at the PlayStation Showcase realistically? Here's what I think. Here's what I think. I know I'm maybe pivoting a little bit here, but I think we will see Medieval 2. I think Sony's going to let us know, hey, Medieval 2, it's releasing this year. I think we are going to see a new Astrobot game. And this new Astrobot game is not going to be treated like a massive tentpole AAA release necessarily, but it will be handled with care. I think Sony is going to treat the new Astrobot game as a pretty significant title. Like, hey, this is going to round out our first party output this year. And I think that's good because it will probably be a very good game. And I think that would be a good idea. But then there's also Concord. I think Sony's going to say, here's what you can look forward to for the remainder of the year from our first party studios. Medieval 2 Remake, Until Dawn Remake, Concord, a new Astrobot game. How does that sound to you guys? Specifically for the remainder of 2024. But when we talk about games that are going to show up at the PlayStation Showcase, we're going to see 
very likely Wolverine. Sony's going to show up with Wolverine. Sony's going to show up with very likely a Ghost of Tsushima sequel. Saying it's not great. You think it sounds bad? I don't know. I, like it, to me, it sounds like it has potential. It does. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little too optimistic on it, but I think that that lineup has has potential. But okay, let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this, guys. That 2024 lineup I just mentioned: Medieval Two remake, new Astrobot game, Concord, Until Dawn remake. That's four games. Two of them are remakes. Two of them would be new games. One of them would be a live service game. Now, what do you think about that lineup? But also, Sony shows up big with games that are, again, they're not ready to release this year, but we are going to show you. You want to see some Wolverine gameplay? Here's some Wolverine gameplay. You want to see some Ghost of Tsushima 2? We got some Ghost of Tsushima 2 for you. Maybe, just maybe, if we're pushing it here, new Naughty Dog game. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that as well. Silent Hill 2 uh, Remake. Although that's not a Sony first party game. But yeah, Silent Hill 2 Remake is also launching this year. So actually, yeah, we could throw that in the mix. It's actually not looking that bad. I got to say. I got to say. I'm in, I'm in agreement with... I see people saying that they think that's a pretty good lineup. I, I, I have to say I'm in agreement. I could understand... I could understand why some people are a little bit like, oh, I don't know about this. If you're not into these games, but... I never played Until Dawn, so for me, that's basically like a new game. Same thing with uh, Medieval 2, actually. I did. I think I played the Medieval remake. I'm pretty sure I did. And it was pretty fun. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. Dreadful83 coming in with a $2 super chat, and it's his uh, fifth time super chatting, so thank you for that, Dreadful, saying he's laughing, and he's saying Baby Steps is going to be big. Yes, Baby Steps. I completely forgot about that. You're probably not wrong, Dreadful. You're probably not wrong. My God, what a, what a crazy, weird game. I remember that game was getting clowned on so bad when it was revealed at that state of play. But, hey man, PlayStation exclusives. Death Stranding 2? Death Stranding 2 is uh, not scheduled for this year. It's scheduled, I believe, for 2025. So Death Stranding 2 will likely be a holiday 2025 release for the PS5 and PS5 Pro. But, right now... Oh, and you know what? The Gravity Rush 2 remaster. Forgot about that as well. That was something that was apparently also leaked by the same source. So we could see that show up. Could that be a 2024 title? Maybe maybe too many remakes and remasters? Maybe. Bug Snacks 2. Yeah, Bug Snacks 2 would be quite the surprise. Dude, if Bug Snacks 2 showed up at the PlayStation Showcase, people would lose it. They would. That would be pretty funny. Uh, we have Michael Meridian here with a $2 super chat saying, Lost Soul Aside. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this game. I thought Lost Soul Aside was supposed to be out by now. This is part of that China Hero project. And it's, I think, the most promising looking like AAA game out of the China Hero project. And I was under, I was under the uh, impression that it was meant to launch in early 2024. And maybe it would have been out by now. But the last thing I heard about it is I think the creative director of the game basically said that you're going to hear more about the game later this year. Still no release date, still no release window. Saying it got delayed out of 2024. It sounds like it may have. Yeah, it sounds like it's it's taking a little bit longer to kind of come together than they originally thought. But Lost Soul Aside is an interesting one. That's one I'm, I'm paying attention to, but I haven't really seen it show up very often. And I think because of that, it just it escapes my mind more easily. But that yeah, that could show up at the showcase for sure. That'd be a good place for it to show up. We have Techie 6, a member for 10 months, saying Copium, Bloodborne remake for PS5 Pro launch. That is 100% Copium, Techie 6, but it's okay. It's okay. I understand. I understand. Listen, the most realistic thing you could expect for Bloodborne, truthfully, is a PlayStation 6 remake at the launch. That's the most realistic thing, in my opinion. Sony wants to ensure the PlayStation 6 is going to succeed. What better way to do that at launch? Or they want to see it succeed at launch, obviously. What better way to do that than here's your Bloodborne remake, guys. Here you go. For the Pro, I don't think Sony... No, I don't think Sony feels like they need that for the Pro. So I do think that is Copium. But however, Techie 6, yeah, see that Hanzo knows. Hanzo knows. What I don't think is Copium is the possibility of From Software being part of the PlayStation Showcase and revealing their new... PlayStation exclusive title. There have been many 
indicators, like just straight up direct indications without actually having it officially confirmed that From Software is working with Sony again on a PlayStation exclusive game. But there have also been many rumors. And yeah, there's been this rumor that's lingered for a little while now called Project Velvet Veil. Vale. This seems to be the new PlayStation 5 exclusive project that Sony has tapped From Software for. Now keep in mind, Sony is invested in From Software directly. So in my opinion, that pretty much confirms they are working together on something. Uh, and so the question will remain until the showcase happens. Could we see, will we see From Software show up? Mm, that, could, that could be a big one, dude. I'll be honest, if From Software shows up at the PlayStation Showcase with a new exclusive announcement, that will steal the show, I believe. Even with something like Ghost of Tsushima 2, I think that would steal the show. I think people would lose their minds over something like that. Uh, we also have Dreadful83 with another $5 super chat. Really appreciate that, Dreadful. You're saying here, honestly, I tried playing Death Stranding, but it is not for me. And you know what, man? I'll give you a lot of credit for being willing to try it. I think it's totally understandable that a game like Death Stranding 2 is not, or sorry, Death Stranding 1 is not going to be for everyone. I've always known that. I knew that from the moment I saw the first gameplay. I was like, yeah, this is going to be a little bit divisive. I don't think it's going to be for everyone. But I got to give you credit for being willing to try it because I think that there are too many people with a game like Death Stranding uh, that maybe aren't willing to try it. I will say something I've observed over the past couple of years, though, is people just at random times when we're talking about Kojima Productions or Death Stranding 2 or even Metal Gear Solid, I've seen quite a few people say that, you know what, I, I decided to give Death Stranding a try, finally. And most of them, from what I can tell, have liked it. But yeah, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with giving it a shot. And if you come to the conclusion that, yeah, I just don't think it's for me, I get it. It's a very different type of game. It's a very different gameplay loop. And uh, I am curious to see, like, we haven't seen much gameplay at all from Death Stranding 2. We've seen, like, I think some shots of gameplay that look very, it looks very similar, obviously, in many ways to Death Stranding 1. But I do wonder if there's kind of something that Kojima hasn't quite, you know, hasn't revealed quite yet to kind of like showcase like, oh, and for those wondering how this is going to be very different from the first game, here you go. Or like what major change or improvement was made uh, gameplay wise. I don't think we've seen that yet. I think it was a bit maybe teased a little bit. I think if you watch the Death Stranding 2 trailer, the latest one, they Kojima seems to be hinting that there's going to be more direct combat, more gunplay, more shooty shoot things happening in Death Stranding 2. Um, that seems to be heavily implied with that trailer. And I think that's a smart move because I think it's like, look, if you if you do want this game to be more broadly appealing, shoot more stuff. Shoot more enemies. Shoot, it's robots now. You're going to encounter robots everywhere. So, you know, Kojima Kojima's always had this, um, he's always had this thing, this uh, idea with his games where he wants to not promote violence. He actually wants to promote being passive and and not, you know, taking a non, he, pretty much taking a non-violent approach. And he did that with Death Stranding 1. But the fact that there's going to be robots in Death Stranding 2, well, hey, they're robots. Be as violent as you want. <laughs> the violence against robots. I mean, you could st to be clear, you could still be violent against people, actual humans in Death Stranding 1, but it was definitely not encouraged. Um, so, Dreadful, I appreciate the super chat, man. And yeah, I, I think we, we will maybe see Death Stranding 2 at the PlayStation Showcase as well. Uh, I think, to be honest, I think there's quite a bit there's quite a bit that Sony could show in a single showcase this time around. And, uh, you know, when I'm thinking about a game like Medieval 2 Remake and I stack it up with these other games, I, I think it's it's hard. Like, I don't, I don't blame anybody for being like, look, I'm not excited for Concord. Concord is seemingly going to be the biggest PlayStation first party game that releases this year. That's how I'm seeing it right now. So I don't blame anybody for being like, that's not exciting. Because how could you be excited about a game like Concord when you haven't seen it yet? I haven't seen it yet. My hope, though, is that maybe Sony, maybe Sony is going to surprise people. Maybe, you know, maybe they're very confident in this game. I do want to remind people, and this is important, and I think to point out, Sony bought this studio. They bought this team. They did not have to buy this team. They already entered into a partnership with Firewalk to ensure that Concord would be exclusive to PlayStation and it would help fund the game. They did not have to buy this team. They ended up buying the team, from what I understand, because they they were that impressed with what they saw. And they really believed like this could be the next big thing or a big thing for us anyway. So 
you know, I'm still going to remain as optimistic as I can about a game like Concord. Do I think it'll be enough to, you know, carry PlayStation alone in 2024? Absolutely not. But I feel like if Concord could turn out to be a surprise, where it's like, wow, this game actually looks very good. This is much better than what I was expecting. I might give it a shot. And again, you back it up with, oh, and there's a new Astro game. Oh, and there's Untold Dawn remake. And there's Medieval 2 remake. And maybe even, you know, Gravity Rush uh, remake or remaster for people who are into Gravity Rush. 